A new element has joined the Future Vertical Lift program, part of the US Army effort to build a networked ecosystem of manned and unmanned weapons. Launched by Boeing and Sikorsky, the Defiant X is a rigid coaxial rotor helicopter with a pusher prop, which builds on the SB-1 Defiant model, currently still undergoing tests. The manufacturer says that Defiant X has been created to operate at high speeds while maintaining low speed handling qualities. This rotary platform is optimized for operational effectiveness in multi-domain operations and joined all domain operational environments, sustainment and ease of maintenance in challenging environments, long-term affordability and interoperability with current aircraft, technologies and infrastructure. In view of the new array of capabilities that Defiant X is able to carry out, an interesting question to ask is why did Boeing and Sikorsky present the SB-1 Defiant as their first candidate and introduced those upgrades to a whole new variant at a later stage? The Army haven't actually come forward and, and said from the Defiant and based on the data, we needed to see uh, additional um, tasks being undertaken and nor have Sikorsky been specific about the, the reasons for making the changes following discussions from the US Army. But it, I think it is, as I say, it is fair to say that the actual change has come about because of the, the CDRR trade studies and the uh, draft RFP. So that draft RFP, as I understand, was around, uh, I think, 2,000 pages long from, from industry to, to read. So you can imagine that there, there might have been uh, areas around uh, mission systems integration for example um, and you know the weapon system as well that uh, Sikorsky and, and Boeing sorry um, I, I wouldn't want to say that Defiant wasn't up to scratch in that sense but it was for a for the first time perhaps uh, those requirements were outlined very clearly and uh, on that basis then um, that the decision was taken to to move out with a, a modification of the defiant itself so i yeah i mean i'm, I'm careful because I, I, do, I genuinely don't want to to raise uh, i don't want to to push beyond anything that's official and move into kind of areas of, of speculation but um that would that would be my my estimation uh, for the meantime The time frame chosen for the announcement of Defiant X is most likely not coincidental. As Shepard reported in December last year, a draft request for proposal was privately issued by the US Army to the manufacturers, which suggested that the service is making steady progress on future vertical lift. On the 9th of December 2020, a FLARA pre-solicitation notice, including eight requirements to be met by the competitors, was published. I think what's interesting is that the announcement comes after a number of trade studies under FLARA's um, CDRR uh, phase uh, competitive uh, demonstration and risk reduction phase uh, and th there's been collaboration between industry and the US Army on balancing out the, the requirements or um, looking at test data and 
feeding that into more refined uh, requirements and also CDRR is supported uh, with uh, a draft RFP uh, that was released to industry in December. So just in terms of the announcement itself and timing, I think that's that's first and foremost uh, why this has happened now. Um, and there is also a, a formal RFP to be issued uh, this year by the Army. And as I mentioned, then 2022 is the big year for the contract uh, award. It goes without saying that Boeing and Sikorsky have built a huge portion of the US Army's current military rotocraft, such as Black Ox, Chinooks and Apaches, with over 15 million flight hours achieved. But the future vertical lift program will shape the future of what rotary aviation could do. It means everything to industry as well when you consider that you're, you're talking about the replacement of around 4,000 Blackhawks. Um, you know, it's it's not it's not small change by any means. Um, it's a huge and significant program. Uh, and also what will be interesting is, I mean, there's always been whispers that um, one or other between Flara and Fara, which is the, the light scout uh, replacement because they're running parallel. There's always been kind of uh, yeah as i say a little whisper um perhaps that one or other will fall by the wayside you won't hear that officially but certainly if you ask analysts and um, the priority is is the light scout just because the, the u.s army has had a, a capability gap in that area for a number of years only time will tell and we will find out in 2022 how Defiant X fares against the competing Bell V280 Valor Tilt Rotor.